Not okay, all I want Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Desmond, and welcome to another GTA 6 content. GTA 6 is still under development, and fans have been eagerly waiting for the release for a long time now. Even though there is still been leaks regarding its gameplay, the little we know about the physics and destruction system has been leaked. Destruction and mayhem are noticeable features in the Grand Theft Auto franchise. Many fans believe that physics system in GTA 4 have been one of the best and preferred that to be RKD1 in GTA 5. The expectations from the upcoming installment is more than ever as it nears its release period. While the evidence existing regarding GTA 6 physics and vehicle damage system, the fans can know what they can expect from the sequel. Let's dive into the fans expect more realistic sequel actually. Will GTA 6 feature a realistic destruction model in the history of entire GTA franchise, the game have been focused on players' entertainment and provided a sandbox in which they can do about anything, literally anything. In the gameplay of the title has involved over the years and has been its uniqueness. The game pushed its boundaries in GTA San Andreas by creating a vast open world with the complex gameplay system. With the GTA 4, more efforts was given to make it more realistic and lifelike overall feel, the ragdoll physics was improved while some destructions were made, removing features like the body stats and attributes. With GTA 5, everything was made more arcadey. As days passed on, thus the game became more of an arcade open world killing ground. On the other hand, RDI 2 featured body attributes of a bounty system and more complex world despite being created by Rockstar. Many fans enjoyed a little detail in RDI 2 and wishes to get the same thing in GTA 6. Attention to detail makes game feel more lifelike and immersive, so fans requested to return all destructiveness in the franchise as destruction adds more crazy things which goes well with the Grand Theft Auto formula. However, while realism adds more details to the game, it can also make it less fun and traditional. This is why GTA 5 was made for more arcadey like and give players to have their fun time. This also made GTA Online fun and constantly allowed Rockstar games to add more fun features. So what do fans think regarding the physics system? So fans did respond that GTA 6 needs to bring back realistic physics and vehicle damage. Most fans have shown a possible attitude towards adding realistic car destruction physics like GTA 4 and one of the fans also pointed out that initially GTA 5 has been sound destruction system until the additional of first person mod. They also shared that GTA 6 might feature better compatibility with the first person mod and allow a better car destruction system. Many fans also want GTA 6 to feature driving like GTA 5 and vehicle damage system like GTA 4. On the contrary, many fans have shared opposite views by saying no, they don't need to bring back the heavy vehicle physics and the arcade physics are much better for chilling and having fun. However, one shared that the exciting experience in modern GTA 5 with the realistic car destruction system, they said that the community is divided over the whether GTA 6 should be feature a realistic car destruction system. Nonetheless, the only time will tell us how car destruction system will work in the upcoming game. So there you have it. That's all to know about the car destruction system for GTA 6. So we will be getting all these content more and more so let's talk about gta 6 in the comments below if you missed out my previous video which was about gta 6 why city harbor old versus new gameplay make sure to watch watch the video you will be getting stunned so this is desmond see you all in the next video hey don't forget to like and subscribe goodbye